second picture-taking opportunity. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask you to turn your phones off. You know the reception is poor out here. The ambulance are coming through. So if the wedding, Karen and Mulan, if you will face the, the crowd, everybody gets 30 seconds to take your picture. <laughs> Okay, please turn your phones off, put them away, and we'll have a phone-free time. Karen, Juan, it's been amazing to see you guys get to the point you are today. I couldn't be more proud, couldn't be more honored. Friends, we've been invited here today to share with Karen Lois Fitch and Juan Carlos Chavez Jr. a very important moment in their lives. In the time they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they've decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. The joining of two hearts as husband and wife is a commitment like no other. It offers opportunities for sharing and for personal growth that no other human relationship can equal. A husband and wife are each other's best friends, confidants, lovers, teachers, listeners, and critics. The bond between a husband and wife deepens and enriches every fact of life. Happiness is fuller, commitments are stronger. Marriage also encourages new life, new experiences, and finds new ways of expressing love through the ups and downs of life. Karen and Juan, as your journey begins as husband and wife, I would ask you both remember to always treat each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you here today. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 13, Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's faults, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope. It is always ready to endure whatever comes. True love does not come to an end. Juan Carlos Chavez Jr., do you take Karen Lois Fitch for your lawful wedded wife to live in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish her from this day forward, forsaking all others, keeping only unto her for as long as you shall both live? Karen Lois Fitch, do you take Juan Carlos Chavez Jr. for your lawful wedded husband to live in the holiest state of matrimony? We love, honor, comfort, and cherish him from this day forward, forsaking all others, keeping only unto him for as long as you both shall live. Yeah. Now the couple will exchange their vows.
know how you like to have fun, and therefore, I vow to never be boring. <laughs> to honor our mutual love languages of quality time and touch. To keep you warm when you're cold, give you attention when you want it, provide you with stoic support for our worst times and our best times. To love you forever and ever, and to strive every day to be the man, husband, father, best friend, and soulmate. When I met you, you changed all of my expectations. I didn't expect to be engaged for nine months, <laughs> to be buying a house in the Texas suburbs at six months, <laughs> and to fall as fast and as hard as I did in love with you. I first knew I loved you when I met your family for the first time. I, <laughs> I could tell how much they loved and respected you, and I knew you were too special to wake up. You always make me feel cherished and that I'm one of a kind. Always like that most beautiful girl in the world. You know and love all parts of me and you support my goals and always encourage me to grow and thrive on what not be my best quality. I love how hardworking you are. You're always pushing yourself to learn and grow and to be the best version of yourself that you never thought would be possible. You never settle for the opportunity. Even with that, you're still the biggest goofball I know. <laughs> you always hear me laughing. I promise to always warm my cold hands on you. I always try my best, but some hustle always leads to you on Mario Kart and all video games. <laughs> uh, to push you to be the best man for me and for our future family. To never stop needing cuddle time. To keep you laughing. I promise to continue on our walk with Christ and keeping God in the center. I love you and I can't wait to begin this next chapter with you. Juan, repeat after me. I, Juan Carlos Chavez Jr., take care in Lois Fitch. I, Juan Carlos Chavez Jr., take care in Lois Fitch. To be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. To be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Karen? I, Karen Lois Fitch. I, Karen Lois Fitch. Take Juan Carlos Chavez Jr. Take Juan Carlos Chavez Jr. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. So, to death do us part. To death do us part. Karen and Juan are going to take a moment and show you uh, an illustration from Ecclesiastes where it says, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Karen. The three strands you see in front of them represents Jesus Christ, the groom, and the bride. Breaking these three strands into one cord symbolizes the joining of the man, one woman, and God in marriage. By keeping the Lord at the center of marriage, his love will continue to grow and bind the couple together. Today, Juan and Karen have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. The center cord represents Jesus. The covenant relationship is initi initiated by him, will be built under his authority, and is intended to glorify him. The left strand represents the groom in his life, as a husband loves his wife and submits himself to the Lord, the Lord in turn will demonstrate his great love in the marriage relationship. The right strand represents the bride in her life. As the wife honors her husband and submits herself to the Lord, the Lord in turn will nurture and strengthen the marriage relationships. In braiding these three strands together, Karen and Juan have demonstrated that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with Jesus Christ as well. They have chosen to allow Jesus to be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it.
Do you have the keys? Rings? Okay. The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity. It's an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unifies two hearts in endless love. And now as a token of your love and of your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, Juan, please, please present Karen's ring and repeat. Oh, sorry. May this ring be blessed, and so he who gives it and she who wears it may abide in peace and continue in love until life's end. And as you place on the ring on, on Karen's finger, please repeat, with this ring I be wed. Karen, may the ring be blessed as she who gives it and he who wears it may abide in peace and continue in love till life's end. As you place the ring on one's finger, please repeat, with this ring I be read. The true art of married life is in this inner spiritual journey. It is a mutual enrichment, a give and take between two personalities a mingling of two endowments which diminishes neither, but enhance both. Inasmuch as you, Juan Carlos Chavez Jr., and you, Karen Lois Fitch, have considered together in the union of matrimony, and you have pledged your faith each to the other in the presence of God, your family, and friends, by the authority invested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you <coughs> man and wife. <laughs> you may kiss my daughter. <laughs> Family and friends. <laughs> Family friends, I'm proud to present for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Chavez. Thank <laughs> you. 